Hello everyone, welcome to this new video tutorial here in Photoshop and today I'm gonna be talking about something that really was a struggle for me when I was starting like drawing on Photoshop and flash and stuff like digital art in general because I always consider myself really bad at drawing landscapes and it, w it, it wasn't because I was bad at drawing like at drawing landscapes it was because I had big misconceptions about how it really works and how the pros actually do it because yeah you you see normally a landscape like this for example here I have one I made this myself and like this I can say this is the best landscape I've made because I have I've had big fails trying to do this sort of stuff so I wanted to make this quick video because doing this I learned a lot from a video that I watched that it was like a dude drawing a landscape like a normal video but it made me realize something so this was me I don't know three years ago I would watch something like this and I would go wow this is really cool I want to I want to do something like that and I would be so like <laughs> trying to do something like this you know what I'm saying like going with the pen with the normal brushes and trying to do all this complicated stuff I, I, I don't know like I was thinking that people actually did this sort of stuff with normal brushes but the thing is you can't compare normal brushes with this type of stuff because if you don't know it I'm gonna tell you when you want to do landscapes and stuff like that, you should have a set of brushes that look kind of like this. You have to, you will need something that looks like rocks, some things like more brushes like this, you know what I'm saying? Like maybe more, more textured brushes because in nature you don't see like sharp edges like really clean stuff like it's more you have the rocks you have the grass you have the the clouds so yeah you will need a lot of this type of of brushes or well well you don't need them because if you are really good you will be able to do whatever you want to do even if you don't have these brushes but what I'm trying to tell you is that most people that do like landscapes and do this type of paintings they don't use the normal brushes because it would be so hard to do it they use like this type of brushes you know what I'm saying like this well this is not a good example of what I'm trying to tell you here Le let's use this one for example yeah you know th they use and for this drawing that I did, I used a lot of those type of brushes, like these messy brushes, brushes that look like rocks, brushes that looks like, like more of a floor, like rocky floor, you know what I'm saying? Or brushes that looks like clouds. Because really doing something like that with normal brushes is really hard. So what I'm telling you, if you if you are good enough, you can do it. If you are comparing yourself with someone that does landscapes with normal brushes well you can achieve it but don't compare yourself to people that use different brushes than you because you will not achieve the same results with like a sharp brush like a hard brush it's impossible well it's not it's obviously not impossible but it's almost impossible to do this type of things like this rocky style if I'm using like <laughs> if I'm using oh if I'm using this oh <laughs> that was okay if I'm using this it will be 10 times harder I'm not gonna go here and try to okay draw all this all these little things you know look so if you want to really try this I recommend you just go on on YouTube and search for for yeah for landscape or uh, Photoshop brushes 
that's what I did. I downloaded a pack of brushes from some dude on YouTube, I guess. I don't, I don't really remember from where I download them, but they are really helpful. And it's not cheating because really, like, it's not cheating. Maybe you would think, oh, that's cheating because you're using br brushes that already has the texture, but it's, it isn't cheating. Like when you draw, like when you paint with real brushes in real life, they have texture. They are not like when you're painting on a, or a real canvas with real paint, it doesn't look like this. You know, it actually looks more like this because the paint is like the, the brush is a little a combination of little like hairs, you know, so it looks more like this, you know. This is digital, like it's not real. <laughs> So, so yeah, that that's all the things. Like, I'm just talking too much. So I'm gonna wrap this video. I hope this helps you. Uh, just go on Google, search for a uh, a pack of brushes. It will improve a lot your landscapes. And yeah, see you on the next videos. I hope. Well, now I'm gonna give you like a practical example of what I'm talking about here. Well. I'm not a pro or anything, but I did this painting here, so if you like it, you can trust me. I'm a good role model <laughs> for you. So I would start with something like this, then I would put like the, I put the floor here, and I used a lot of clipping masks. If you know what a clipping mask is, it's basically, oh, shoot. Okay, it's basically a normal layer but you you want to select a key here a clipping mask right so everything you draw is only on this layer that you have here under the clipping mask okay so yeah i will start i already did this i'm not gonna do it again so i'm just gonna show you a little bit of the this is not the painting that i showed you here because i don't have the file but it's pretty much uh, similar you know it's not finished like it's just a, an example i would start playing with some different brushes with some different colors adding different textures like that you know here a little bit of light then i put these mountains here on the back you can do the same with the mountains obviously you put clipping masks and you start adding different brushes you start adding lighting and this is a little trick. Look, this would be the normal the normal layer, how it would look. But if you put it on linear dutch, it gives like a like an illumination, right? So you can use that to make like the lights. Well, not not the lights itself, but to make you can put that effect where the light hits, so it looks a little bit more bright let's say that that way and yeah that you can you have to experiment with different brushes with different textures different layer modes or layer blending modes i guess yeah some different blending modes and yeah i hope this tutorial really helps you a lot and i hope this helps you <laughs> i already say that sorry what i wanted to say is in my channel i have more tutorials i have photoshop tutorials flash tutorials I have animations and drawings and yeah that's pretty much all I have so yeah check it out and hope to see you on the next videos bye